Hey, what's up? This is Chris, and welcome to Coding in Public. I have a question for you. How would you get this names array to be converted to something that looks like this? Joe, Anna, Timmy, and Lydia with commas and all of that. Or how would you take this number and convert it to currency that looks like this? Well, there's an API built into JavaScript that does both of these things for you, and that's what I'm going to show you in this video. Today, I want to walk you through a couple formatting options that are available to us now in modern JavaScript. They replace a lot of things that are kind of hacky and could easily break down. And plus, it's locale sensitive, so it'll adjust as people visit your site. And you can see here, I've got the MDM docs, and I'll make sure to add links to all this in the description. There are a bunch of things you can do, but you can see that the kind of the whole point here is that it provides a language sensitive string comparison, number formatting, date and time formatting, etc. And uh, it's pretty well supported everywhere, uh, even on IE uh, 11 for a lot of stuff. Uh, I'll leave you to check out individual ones here as we go through, but I'm going to start by showing you this list format. And then I'm also going to show you how to turn stuff to a local string uh, with numbers. And that's just a method that lives on the prototype for number. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Uh, I've got here just a list of names and then I've got a list of numbers. So let's do these kind of one after the other. Normally you probably grab the array and then like slice off stuff and then add on like a and and all this kind of stuff. And it just can be kind of messy. Well, again, there are these formatting options for you that can take an array and easily transfer it to a local text. And the syntax is pretty straightforward. It's just new intl dot list format. And then in here, you've got a couple different things. You've got locales. You can pass it a locale if you want to specify that. And then you can pass it several options. So let me pass it in, in a locale here of the US. And I'll just tack on a format at the end. And then I'll pass it my name one. Now I'm using an extension called Quoka. You can see it down here in the bottom that will preview a lot of this. So I don't have to show it to you in a browser. But I'll say console.log and then wrap all this. And you see that now it just formats it automatically like this. And the nice thing is you can just reference this and then just tack on a dot format and then whatever the name of the array is wherever you want to. All right, so here's how that would look. Let's kind of get all this set off. We'll say const, and let's call this like format uh, names array. And then all I have to do is come down here and let's console.log. This will be format names array dot format, and we'll pass it our name one. You can see here, that's exactly what I get. Now, again, if I go to two, now I'm going to get it like that, which that makes sense. It's the same basic thing. But if I go to Three now, I'm just going to get the two names, Brandon and Marnie, set off just like that. In other words, you can leave your data alone and just format it when you need to show it in the UI uh, according to your locale or whatever your preference is. Now, I said a second ago that you can format it with a locale and you can also pass it some options in an object. So let's go ahead and do that now. now I'm only going to show you one here because I think this is the main one you would want. So by default, it adds a conjunction, that and, but you could also do a disjunction like this. And you see now it says Brandon or Marnie or Brandon rather than and. And again, if you were to remove this, it would go back to and. So that's one difference. Let's come back in here and add back our name one array. You can see that it works the same way here. Now, there are other locales as well. Maybe for you, you don't like this, what it's called an Oxford comma where you add that extra one. So you can come in here and change this to GB. I think that's for Great Britain. And you see that that removes that Oxford comma. And the same thing would work if we got rid of that disjunction. Same thing with that and, there's just no Oxford comma there. Now you may want to create some kind of helper function let, that you can pass things to and that will format it and return back to you what you want. But hopefully this makes sense how you use this list format. Now the other one I want to show you in addition to this list format, and I'll leave docs for all this and I've just kind of shown you the basics so far. Um, but I also want to show you how to use a something that lives on the number. Now this two local string is also from that same spec. Here, though, you can just reference it off any number because it lives on the prototype. Let me actually go ahead and pull up the console here. And let's just let me just kind of talk you through what the prototype is real quick. If you're unfamiliar with that, you, you would be familiar with it. You just may not know what it's called or kind of how to access it. So if I add a number here, let's call it something like, I don't know, one, two, three, four. Actually, let's do this. Um, let's say new number and wrap it like this. And that way we get the whole object returned back to us. And then I can just call num like that. And now I get the object here. Uh, and so the number, these are all the things that are attached to this type. So whenever you have a number, you have access to things like two exponential, two fixed, two local string, that's what we're going to use. And then you've got other things like two string value of whatever. Now that's actually the same thing for anything in JavaScript. So if I clear this out, and then let's go ahead and grab our names array. So let's grab this right here. I'll come back here and let's add that in here, name one. Now what you can do to access that is say console.dir 
name one like that, and it will give you back the array and it'll show you the prototype. And these are all the methods that you're used to working with. So it, you might see find or find last, flat, uh, includes, join. So all these things just live on arrays. They're available in every single array because they're attached to the prototype for the array in JavaScript. So all we're gonna do is access this to locale string. That's a method that lives on every number. Now the use case here is you may wanna take this text right here and convert it to either like a number with commas in between, or maybe it's actual currency that you need to convert. Let's come in here at console.log and let's grab our num1. And then we're gonna say two local string like that. And if you just leave it like that, it'll actually just pass it in as a number and add a comma. And again, you can come in here and actually specify. So like ENGB or whatever, or ENUS, now those will be the same. But if you're in a specific locale that formats numbers differently, you could access that here as the first of these arguments. Now, just like with list format, we can pass in an object with some additional information. So for instance, we could say this is a style of currency and then we could pass the currency as, in this case, we could say USD for US dollars. Now, if I can get that out of there, you can see that it actually returns it here in US dollars. We could do the same thing here. So pass in two or pass in three. And again, to go back to the simplest example, if we just pass two locale string, now we're getting those commas filtered in there. And again, you can leave your data alone and just display it however you need to with this two locale string. Now you'd probably create some kind of helper function to do this for you. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and come up here and paste in a helper function. What this does is it takes in a certain number of cents. And that's how I typically like to work with money. I'm a big fan of Wes Boss and that's what he does. So that's what I do. All right, and you can see you take in cents, you divide it by 100 and then you can pass it to locale string. So in other words, this would be like $12.23. Same thing here, $1,234.51. That makes a lot of rounding errors and odd things that happen with money a lot easier to work with. But you can see here that as, since I've got this function here, I can just pass any number of cents to it and it will spit back to me this exact string. So let's change this up just a bit. You say format price and you would simply pass it num1. And since it's a function here, you can even do math in here as well. So you could say like minus uh, num three or something. Now that'd be negative. Maybe num two is a better idea. Um, or you can, you know, add to it like 20 more cents or $2 or whatever. Again, the power of this whole API is that you can leave your data alone and then just format it in the UI whenever you need to actually change what it looks like without touching your data itself. Again, I'll leave the documentation links in the description. Thanks so much for watching and happy coding.